Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and been keeping safe. Today I'll be making some fantasy butterflies with pipe cleaners. Take a six inch length of pipe cleaner and snip about a half an inch off the end. Put this little piece to one side because we'll be needing it later. Now fold your pipe cleaner in half, keeping the ends level, and squeeze together so that it looks like this. Hold tight at the bent end and start to twist. Twist about three to four times. This will be the body and the head of the butterfly. With a pair of needle nose pliers, wind each end towards the body. Keep adjusting the head until you're happy with the way it looks. Okay, so far so good. Now it's time to install the eyes. So, with a pair of sharp tweezers or a toothpick, glue the eyes into place. Like before, I'm using hot glue. I forgot to mention before that a list of all the tools and supplies I'm using will be listed in the description box below. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's get started on the proboscis. Take a six inch length of wire and thread on a bead. Now bend the wire in half and start to twist. Twist about an inch and a half or four centimeters. Then trim off the ends. With the needle nose pliers, curl the wire around into a coil shape, making sure the bead is in the center of the coil. It should look like this. So let's test it, see how it looks. Okay, that looks fine, so let's glue it into place. Again, I'm using hot glue here. Okay, give it a good squeeze, but make sure you don't burn your fingers. Okay, it's looking good. So let's carry on with the legs. I've cut a length of wire, eight inches long or 20.5 centimeters. I've bent it in half and then half again. All right, it should look like this now. Grip the middle with your pliers and start to twist. I will glue the twisted segment to the butterfly. If you're planning to attach your butterfly to a gift bag or a gift tag, you don't need to make the legs. Dum de dum de dum. So much twisting. 
Okay, I think we're nearly there. Just a little snip and we've got four legs. Now I know these legs aren't anatomically correct, but these are fantasy butterflies after all. Okay, so using hot glue again, I'll attach the legs to the body. This is where we use that little scrap piece we cut off at the beginning. Press into the butterfly's body and this will give the legs some more strength. Okay, looking good, right? So, bending the legs, let's see if we can't get this butterfly to stand up. Measure one and a half inches or four centimeters down from the body and trim off the excess. Okay, so it should look like this now. With my needle nose pliers, I will take each leg and twist it round to take the sharp edge off and give it a more polished look. I think it looks kind of cute already. Right, let's see if she'll stand up for us. So cute. And yes, she does stand up. So glad about that. Next come the antennas. So moving right along, I'm going to cut an eight inch or 20.5 centimeter piece of wire. Okay, it doesn't have to be quite that exact. Bend it in half and holding it on the bend, start to twist three quarters of an inch or two centimeters. The twisted part will be the part that we glue to the back of the butterfly. snip the ends so that they'll be even. Later on we'll put some beads on these but for now we'll put them to one side. Next we'll do the wings. I've got a piece of organza ribbon here two inches long and two inches wide. I'm folding them in half and then in half again. I'll be using this little wire to fasten the wings together but if you want, you can use a needle and thread. I'm just using the ribbon I have, and if you don't have this kind, then just use what you do have. I'm just cutting through the folded parts here to separate the wings out. So now, taking your scissor, just trim them into some kind of wing shape. After you've shaped your wings, just open them up, scrunch them together, and either using a wire or needle and thread, fasten them in the middle. Just tweak them a bit until they look pretty. Okay, that's enough tweaking. Let's wire these wings together. You can experiment with different types of ribbons to achieve different looks. Mm -hmm. 
So I've made the wings, so now I'll attach them to the body. And there's some more tweaking. So I've now hot glued the wings onto the back. Right, next come the antenna. They're going on the back, but first we need to put some beads on the ends. Thread on the bead and then with your needle nose pliers twist it round to lock the bead into place. Do this for both sides. Just a warning, I'm going to be doing some more tweaking here. Looking good. Now let's get these on the butterfly's back. Again, using my trusty glue gun, I will fasten the antenna to the butterfly's back. And now, making her look extra beautiful, I am adding a flat back crystal. To cover the glue. Okay, I apologize in advance, but this calls for some major tweaking. Isn't she amazing? I could see these on a birthday party table or a bridal table. So, so cute. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, leave me a comment, and feel free to like and share. And in the comment box below are all my social media links where you can find me. Thank you for taking time out of your day to join me. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.